With the Tesla battery day approaching, lots of rumors and speculations have surged, and I've been wondering, is it possible for Tesla to cut prices on the Model 3 and Model Y, and maybe even offering a compelling car for less than $30,000? Let's find out. Welcome. You're watching On Forward. The battery pack of an electric car is without doubt one of the most expensive components, but Tesla already has an advantage over all other automakers. According to Current Energy, Tesla's cost of a battery pack was about $160 per kilowatt hour of storage in 2019, while competitors average more than $200 per kilowatt hour, and this gap is only widening in the future. Elon talked about achieving the $100 per kilowatt hour magic number several times, and recent news reports by Reuters confirmed that Tesla is working with CATL in China to develop batteries that are less expensive and much more durable. This new technology will be implemented in China's manufactured Model 3, and later it will be introduced in other regions such as the United States. So. We talked about reducing battery costs, but is this the only way a lower cost per car can be achieved? The short answer, no. Economies of scale are also really important. Several improvements have been included in the Model Y, and transferring those to the Model 3 and streamlining production even more is a really good way of reducing manufacturing costs. The Model Y production ramp will also improve on this as it shares a lot of parts with the Model 3. So, now we know how Tesla can achieve lower costs, but there are two main outcomes for this. Let me explain. This huge price reduction, in addition to higher efficiency, would potentially enable Tesla to offer vehicles at the same cost but with much more range, or with the same range but a much cheaper cost. Although take into account that this is not black or white, their strategy could land at any place of this spectrum. I think it would make more sense to go the cheaper way, as one of the goals of Tesla is to accelerate the transition to electric cars, and lowering the price that much means it would be accessible for a lot more people. At the end of the video I will give my opinion about the possibility of a really cheap Model 2, so make sure to stick around. I'll do some simple math to calculate how much these prices can be reduced. For example, let's take the standard range Model 3. Remember it has a 50 kWh pack, which the last year would have cost something about $8,000. Let's say Tesla announces that they could bring down the cost to $100 per kWh. I think this is a little conservative, but if we do the math again, the cost of the battery pack is lowered to $5,000. But that's not all. These batteries are also getting more efficient, which means they can maintain the same range utilizing less batteries in a pack, also reducing costs. Let's say, with all these improvements, Tesla is able to make a 15-20% to more efficient batteries, which would mean they can have the same range with 40 kWh on a Model 3, and thus, the cost is lowered even more. If you're interested in these battery innovations, watch this video, in which I talk more about one of them. With these conservative numbers, I managed to get the price down to $31,000, and this is just taking into account the battery pack. I see a clear path on Tesla's future to further improve on it. But this price lowering will be tied to the production capacity they have. Think about it, it makes no sense to offer a super low price Model 3, which would have insane amounts of demand, if you can make enough. And it would make more sense to increase the price, achieving a balance between demand, price and margins. Now, as I promised, let's talk about a potential cheaper model by Tesla. Let's call it the Model 2. Take into account that the average price of new cars sold in the US is $36,000. So, 
In my opinion, there is no point in making a $20,000 super cheap car, not just because the technology isn't there yet, which is true, but also because there is no big benefit on doing that in the short term. At least not in the US, where people like bigger cars. Just look at the best-selling car segments on the country. They are pickup trucks and SUVs, and Tesla already has plans for these two markets. On the SUV side, the Model Y, which is going to be produced all around the country sooner than later, and the upcoming Cybertruck, which will address the pickup truck market. In my opinion, offering lower prices would be a big achievement for Tesla, enabling them to reach even more customers and advancing on their mission to accelerate the adoption of sustainable transport. We'll have to wait a bit for battery day to get specific numbers on costs and efficiency improvements to know exactly what to expect on prices. I'll make a video on this topic as soon as the event takes place. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on that. So that is all for today. I really hope you liked this video. Here you have two more that you may like. See you later.